We got a Sav. I'm definitely going to deal with him first. Something else is just behind him. Is just driven off. This guy's coming back. Sounds like there he is. We just go up a front plate on a T34, which is nice and easy. I think it's the M10 that I missed the shot on. Is somebody over here? Oh yeah, that's a hundred percent is a guy. Okay, there he is. Wait till we get a nice solid shot. Down he goes. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This one is for the weebs, the Chinu 2. So before we get into the tank, I'd like to thank you guys once again for all the support we've had the last couple of weeks since I've been daily uploading. And I've been taking your advice when it comes to the intros. No longer will the intros be spoilers. All the intros will now be spoiler free. So no need to skip them. I'll do my best to try and avoid it whenever I can. And yeah, we'll just move on with the rest of this video. So what is the Chino 2? This is a 4.0 rank 3 Japanese medium tank. And this thing recently got nerfed. It used to be 3.7. And it's one of the tanks that got a serious buff from the ballistic changes about a year ago. Check out this round. Type 4 Co. This thing can pen 117mm at 500m at 30 degrees. Pretty much anywhere you hit a Sherman at long range, you're going to take it out. Panzer IVs are easy meat, and this thing can even take out Tiger ones from the front, as long as they're not too angled. This is an incredibly scary gun. Now just to reinforce how good this thing's gun is, it's still used on this 4.7 and 5.0, and these things aren't bad tanks. I mean just check out the Cheeto here. I've got 8 deaths to 54 kills. That's an insane kill death ratio for a tank that sits at 4.7 BR. Now this thing does the same damage roughly as the 76mm Sherman. And the thing that makes this better though is that it's a much flatter firing trajectory. It's easier to aim and it's easier to get the shots in those weak spots that you're going for. Armor wise, not much to speak of. It's got 50mm plays kind of all around the front. And on the side, the armor is particularly weak with only 20mm on the hull, 25 on the side. This is rolled homogenous. A little bit more on the, the bottom here, but your main weak spot is going to be here. You really can't angle this thing. And when you're sitting front on, most things are going to take you out. The survivability of this tank isn't great. This thing is best suited to long range engagements. Couple all that with an 8 second reload and a very cramped turret. Yeah, this thing isn't the best at brawling, but it can do it. Anyway, let's take this thing out onto the battlefield. Okay, advance to the Rhine. I'm looking at getting a decent flank on. We can't really do very well in this environment with this tank. Though, we do have a very powerful gun. We've got a very long reload, so if we come across two enemies at the one time, it puts us in a lot of danger. And if I do miss a shot, or get an unlucky bounce, it means that whatever is going to return fire on us at this range, our armor isn't very effective at point blank. An M10 here to back us up though. There's an enemy Puma over this direction. I'm taking some peoples out. Gonna push up here. Have a look down this main road. This M10 hasn't fired at anything, so I'm led to believe that there's nothing down here yet. Every time an artillery has it turns people's engines off, and it's hard to know where things are coming from. I've definitely got something on the other side of this building. I don't know if I'll be able to hit him though. Maybe be able to get him through the wall if my suspension would stop bouncing up and down. I'm not sure what happened when I shot. I think I might have shot directly over the top of him. But I couldn't get my suspension to behave. It just kept bouncing up and down. So I couldn't get an accurate shot on him anyway. Trying to time that right. Still there though. We've got this M10 in front of us. I don't mind brawling with this guy as long as I get the first shot off. We got somebody down this way. Hands off what? That's going to be an easy kill. Four seconds we're able to fire again. Oh, Cromwell's getting involved here. He's fired and missed. Did he back up? No, there's two here. Let's go for him. Let's back up. Go for the one that's paying attention. T34 just took a shot. We should reload in time. And there we go. That's our third kill. 
keep an eye on down the street. Thankfully, that Cromwell was there to back us up. Pretty good going. Now, we're quite close to the spawn. We need to get out of this area because those guys are going to come back and know exactly where we are. E34E just took out a friendly Cromwell here. Oh. Something behind this wall. Did he pull back or has he gone forwards? Unfortunate thing about not having a 50 cal is that oh, he might actually peek here. Put that verbal one first. This guy might have spotted us now. Yeah, okay, maybe not. Okay, down he goes. Right, let's get into this ditch. Nice and low here. Let's just bide our time. We've caused a lot of noise, so people are going to be paying attention to where we are. A cabs. T3457 on the A cab. Right, okay. Need to be wary of that. I'm going to drop artillery over there. We've got no teammates nearby, so there's no risk of team killing or blocking someone's shot. And you never know with artillery. Stug four, and we can easily deal with as long as we get the first shot off. Stug three, sorry. I've actually been reading the way Stug fours recently, and I'm surprised there's not one in the game. I think he's coming. Two, actually. Oh, three. This may be very short lived now. I don't think this guy sees me. That little hidden spot's worked out. I'm gonna not fire at this dude. Where is this T34 at? A lot of dust here. Oh, bad timing. Come on, come on, come on. Move, 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 move. Oh no. Yeah, he's backing up. Now that KV1 and LVT are moving somewhere. I was gonna say something very nearby. Luckily, got the first shot off. Stug's still over here somewhere too. Worried about him. Those two guys died. Oh, here he is. Down he goes. Nice and easy shot on that driver port. Uh, I think we've caused enough damage over here. Let's try and get back to the battlefield where we should be, which is at the cab zone. A couple of SPAs over there. A medium tank over here on this street. Having my back to the enemy is not ideal, but we really need to get involved in this fight over here. Oh, I can see them. There's two, three tanks over here. One of them just died, I think. We're not going to get an opening to hit this Sherman unless we drive up on this mound. Except the Sherman in the back. Chinese Sherman. Only got us. Oh, I'm actually surprised that I never took out all of his crew. Where is this guy? I don't see him. Missed him. There he goes. Teammate got him, no? Actually, did we have a little gap here? Mm, this is going to be a really sneaky shot. <laughs> Okay, we got another guy flying up towards the 10 line. Looks like our teammates have dispatched most of the enemies over this side. Let's go back up on this hill here. Just have a look. One advantage about having this brown camouflage is that we look awfully like dead tanks sometimes. A quick glance. So as long as we're stationary, we might confuse a lot of players. Probably one of the reasons why I've done so well, honestly. Where are we here? I'm just chilling this ditch and waiting people driving out in front of us. Sometimes being obvious is less obvious if you get what I'm saying. Nice and easy. We're catching up on tickets now. 
Plenty of enemies left though. 20 rounds, plenty of ammo left. One guy pushing this direction. Let's get into a better position to deal with him. Did a P-40 bomb him? Uh, I don't think he did, KV-1. Gonna wait on a better shot on this guy. There we go. Perfect. Better off waiting if we're not spotted. This gun is so good. Yeah, T-34 is pushing 10 line now. The one that we missed. The guy's respawning back in. Sure, what SPA that is. Could be a BTR. Few friendly aircraft are that's good. Getting that cover is ideal. Someone is pushing us here. Your friendly is pushing up behind me. I'd rather they were nowhere near me to be honest. I'm staying here nice and quiet, so being discreet. Something to our right hand side as well. This guy's actually pushing up. Let's get our guns ready here. Chinese Sherman. Nice and easy shot on that. Got him on the flat plate. Way more than enough HE filler to kill that guy. Anywhere really. Except from the back of the turret apparently. Enemy air up. You got somebody on the cap now. I'm just going to drop artillery over there. Let's just back up here slowly. This Chaffee's been damaged. Oh, I see him. 34. Get his engine so he can't move anywhere. And then we'll aim for the back of the turret to get that. I wanted the guaranteed kill on him, so there we go. Good. He won't get the cap now, which is perfect. Got an enemy here. What is he doing? I think he just took a hit off of this M4. I'm absolutely amazed I've just been able to sit in this park and just decimate people. Do I try and get a better angle on this guy or do I just wait where I am? I think I'm just going to wait here honestly. You can see a lot from this position. Friendly planes are doing a great job of marking these guys and there's no where they're coming from. Still plenty of enemies left. Chaffee. And I think there's one more medium maybe over there too. Yeah, we got someone spamming 50 cows over this direction. It's another chaffy, maybe. Something to my left, man. He's just think by. Oh no, it's a big boy. Got him in the turret neck. He's down. We just set up for this chaffy coming through. Third KV2. Heckin' chonker. Had plenty of time to aim at him, too. He just fired. And uh, Chaffee that's on A is now dead. There are three enemies left. Someone is on the cap though. You can see him actually. Oh, he's dead. It was an M8. Okay, our teammate's probably gonna get on the A cap. I don't know what this get some guys doing, just chilling out over there. He did kill someone, so. 
Give you two. Okay, teammates grabbing the cap. Two enemies left. Gotta go on the offensive now. It's a KB. He just missed me, thankfully. No idea how I dodged that. We'll just go straight for his gunner and breach. Something else in front of me, though. That little cheeky reverse. I think he actually damaged me with his machine gun. Funny enough. Oh, there's a truck here. There's no way he's repaired already, surely. Can put this fire out. Actually, there's multiple opponents around me. Oh yeah, T-34 is there. I wonder if that was T-34 or the KV that hit me. I'm not sure at all. Somehow managed to survive. Oh, <laughs> there we go. 16 kills. The old samurai that finally goes down. <laughs> and we're defeated by an SPAA of, it, of all things. I could have played that last bit a little bit safer, but... You know, we went we went risky for the for the extra kills to keep them off that spawn cap, and that's okay. Okay, let's take our 109 out. See if we can get some kills with the the main gun on this thing. We got plenty of aircraft up. We got one enemy here that's still alive. That KV-1 just died. Um, that must have been the T-34 from my front that hit me. Keep an eye out, and this is this 12. I don't want to carry too much speed going on this thing because we can. Get a lot more time to get a follow-up shot on if we miss our first one. It's going to be really difficult to kill this SPAA if we see him with our main gun. We don't have any machine guns at all in this thing except defensive armament. Where's this T-34 hiding? There he is. A little bit too high. And there we go. <laughs> there we go. A little bit of revenge there. And uh, yeah, that should give us our 17th kill of the game. What, a, what an ideal game. There we go. The Shino 2. I think this is the first Japanese vehicle I've featured on this channel. Super cool tank. Well worth the GE if you're grinding out Japan, starting from the beginning. Highly recommend. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Much love and bye bye.